Alright, so this is my second take at this video. Um, I made it and YouTube tells me it's too long so I had to make it shorter. <laughs> um, and something freaky, I could have sworn that that door was uh, clo open in the last video and now it's closed. Weird. And I'm here by myself, so. Um, so, I, um, have been through kind of like a depressive stage in my transition for like the last two months. Uh, maybe, yeah, since I like last made my video. Um, just really irritable, frustrated, uh, just a grouch. Um, and so I hadn't found any motivation to make a video. Um, and today my cousin actually wrote me and she's like, hey, when are we going to see a video? And um, so I was like, what the hell? Um, so today is September 5th and I am um, six months and like a week on team. Um, so everything is going good, um, I'm passing 100% of the time pretty much. Um, yeah, it's really hard for me to get she's now. Um, even my dad, and I actually have to make a video about that because I haven't in a while. Um, but even my dad, uh, now that he sees that I'm passing a lot more, or that I sound, look like a guy, like... It's a lot harder for him to call me she or, you know, daughter or whatever. So, um, and that situation is kind of a little awkward, but it's getting better. So, I'm happy for that. Um, uh, change is not really, um, I'm not even going to flex because I have no muscle at all right now. Um, I, my car broke down. Boo. Um my car broke down and so uh, I've been stuck here for the last month or so um I've been stuck here I haven't gone to the gym I started running around like like my my neighborhood like the back of our like condo has like this grassy like area foresty area whatever like I try to go run up around there, but then I honestly lost motivation. And again, it has a lot to do with, like, just my mood. Um, so I stopped doing that, and then I um, stopped smoking. So that made me irritable, made me feel down. I was really snappy, grouchy, not fun to be around. Um, and so, <laughs> uh, poor my girlfriend, but... Um, she uh, has been very supportive, uh, extremely supportive and patient with me. Um, so, I love you, baby. If you watch this, I'm pretty sure you won't. But, um, so, I... Um, where, where was I going? I forgot. Uh, I'm a spaz. Um, yeah, so, I've been feeling down, and I haven't felt like making videos, and... Um, being here has given me a lot of time to just think about everything. Why am I not feeling, you know, like, why am I feeling down? Um, as opposed to, like, other transition stories that I've heard, like, mine has been so fucking easy. Um, I mean, really, like, I'm working from home. Like, I don't see anybody I can go to my own restroom so I don't have to worry about oh am I gonna go into the men's or the women's um supervisors know everybody talks and or refers to me in male pronouns by my name like so uh, family is on top of it like so it's like so why the hell are you feeling down um and I think the reason is is just I've come to a point of like self-acceptance like everything's going so well um that it's kind of hard for me to believe it it's hard for me to accept it i mean i'm I, there's there's still things and, and actually i was talking to my girlfriend about something today um which maybe i'll talk about later but um you know just like different things that kind of bum bum me out that i'm like ugh, 
I was bi a bi biological male, I could do this, and, you know, so uh, that just kind of gets me down, but, um, one of the things that was really getting to me was the whole being perceived as gay. Um, and last video, I actually made a comment about that, and it sounded horrible. It sounded like, like, oh, some gay dude. No, like, I love gay people. All my friends are gay. Um, I don't mind being perceived as gay. I just want to know what about me makes people think I'm gay. And I've come to the conclusion that, um... I was actually talking to my neighbor, and he was like, yeah, you know, like, I feel like I can open up to you because you're really cool and chill and mellow, and, and then I started thinking about it, and I was like, well, you know, like, not all guys have to be, like, all rambunctious and, like, fuck this shit that, you know, like, or, or, like, super manly and, like, oh, yeah, check out my hemi, like, you know, guys don't have to be like that, and I've... Just, I guess, I've been trying to mold myself into, like, all these different things. And it's like, fuck it, dude. Like, I'm just Alex, and that's who I am. And if you like it, great. If you don't, then that's great, too. I mean, and I think that was my, kind of my attitude coming into it. But over the first, second month, third month, like, trying to be perceived as a guy kind of strained me away from that. And then I was like, oh, no, I got to be manly. I got to do this, got to do that. Um, just because I wanted to pass. That now I'm passing, but now, like, I'm more worried about, like, oh, well, do they think I'm gay because my mannerisms are very feminine? And it's like, fuck it, dude. Like, fuck it. I like pretty things, and I like makeup, and I like hair, and I don't give a shit. Um, and... <laughs> I just, I gotta accept myself, like, if I don't accept myself the way that I am, nobody is gonna accept me, and I think that was one of the cool things about, you know, at the beginning, and me explaining it to people is, like, I put it out to be like, hey, yeah, I'm transgender, and this is what I am, and I was so sure of it that over the last five, six months, I've been like, oh, I'm transgender, like, pity me, and it's like, no, fuck it, like, I mean... Yes, like, there's still a lot of struggles. Yes, there's still, still a lot of things. Um, but, you know, it's something that you push through, I guess, and just get over it. Like, fuck it, you know, you're trans. Deal with it. Like, uh, I mean, and, and I'm talking about myself, my, my own personal, like, how I would talk to myself if I wasn't myself. Um, you know, like, who cares? Who cares? Um... And it's so funny because my perception of it was not the same this morning. I was like, eh, like talking to my girlfriend um, about something. So um, that's just that's just the attitude that I have got to have. And I know in the last video that I made that was too long for YouTube, um, I talked more about uh, other stuff. But now it's like, fuck it. Um, no, well, I guess I'll mention it. Um, I went to Walmart by myself because my girlfriend wasn't feeling well, so... And I'm going to make this fast. Uh, I went, and this guy was like... Or no, 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 this kid was, like, staring at me, and I was, like, walking down the aisle, or whatever, pushing my little shopping cart, and he's like, gay. And then I look back, and I'm like, what? Uh, and it was just me there, and he was staring at me the whole time, and then after he said it, he was staring at me, so I was like, what the fuck? His mom, like, turns around and, like, smacks him, and I was like, wow, that's rude. No, I didn't say it, but I thought it, and it's like, uh, it didn't bother me, but I was like, what about me, like, makes people think I'm gay? I mean, it's probably the huge ass, but, I mean, I've seen guys with huge asses, and I don't automatically think they're gay. Um, so, anyway, I come back home, and I told my girlfriend... <laughs> And she was like, well, you know, sometimes you kind of shake a little too much or you, you walk like, like, like I'm over relaxed. I don't know. So anyway, this is going to be really long. So I guess I'll make a video about it. Yeah. All right. So that's uh, six months and a half. No changes.